If you ever wanted to send a video file, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's the struggle. Especially if you don't want to use some online video size reduction app that will degrade the video. And once that happens, what's the point of even making or downloading high quality videos, right? Secondly, good quality files take up a lot of space. Trust me, I have terabytes worth of family videos that I'm gonna spend entire week reducing in size. But look, don't despair. Today is the day that will address this, this never ending struggle for size and storage. Handbrake is a free and open source transcoder that was originally developed by Eric Petit in 2003. Back then he made it to rip DVDs to data storage devices for storage on drives and later on cloud. I did the same thing with my DVD collection, though for some reason I still kept the original DVDs too. I don't know, maybe I'm just sentimental after all. But hey, when it comes to software, it's like magic. I don't know, this is maybe just the geek in me, but I love these kind of smart tools. I mean. How cool is it that you can compress something without sacrificing quality? This is how you can take a massive 4K video file and watch it on your phone. So how does Handbrake do it? Now, not magic, though sometimes I wish there was a bit more magic in the world as well. Now, this is all about codecs, and not that kind of codecs, but codecs. Think of them as this secret language that takes existing files and translates them into something more concise without loss of what matters video quality. If you like streaming, for instance, codecs make video streaming buttery smooth and save you from running out of storage space on your devices. They're the reason that you can binge watch your favorite TV shows without hitting the storage wall. All right, so you've got your codecs doing their thing, their magic, but what are encoders and the decoders that everybody keeps talking about? Think of encoders as shrink rate guns that compress your videos into much smaller sizes for easy sharing and streaming. They work hand in hand with codecs to make sure that your videos stay crisp and clear, even after all that squeezing. On the flip side, decoders are simply put just like the reverse button. They take those compressed files and unpack them so that you can enjoy your videos in all their glory. Together, encoders and decoders form this dynamic duo that makes your video experience seamless and enjoyable. These little guys are your own tech wizards, making sure that your videos look amazing no matter where you watch them. Now, one of the most popular ones is H.264, which if you watch YouTube, you've probably heard people talking about it at one point or another. And since people are sequential beings and love putting things in order and categories, the new version is H.265. But hold on, just because H.265 is newer, it doesn't mean that it's better. H.264, also known as the Advanced Video Coding AVC, has been around the block and is widely used. It's like your reliable old car that gets the job done. It's great for HD video streaming, balancing quality and file size like a pro. You'll find it powering everything from YouTube videos to Netflix shows. On the other hand, H.265, aka HEVC, high efficiency video coding, is the new kid on the block with tricks up its sleeve. H.265 can handle higher resolution like 4K, 8K, all while keeping file sizes smaller than H.264. I mean, there is some serious power. The problem is that it's not that widely used. So while H.264 is like the trusted workhorse, H.265 is the tech-savvy upgrade that's paving way for sharper, more efficient videos. Well, until H.266 comes up. But enough of the background stuff. Let's get on with Handbrake. At the end of the day, Handbrake is the magician taming all that tech for you from behind the scenes. By the way, if you haven't caught it yet, Handbrake is free, open source and available for whatever you fancy, Windows, Mac or Linux. And the download link is in the description below. Now, let's go practical. We've got Handbrake fired up, so let's dive into the nitty gritty of how to actually use it to compress your videos. Remember, the goal here is to reduce file size without sacrificing the clarity and detail of your footage. If you haven't downloaded it yet, do it now. I'll wait. 12 seconds later. All right, so we've got Handbrake open. Immediately, you'll notice that you can either upload a single video file or an entire folder. For this tutorial, we'll focus on a single video clip. Select your video file and after importing Handbrake, we'll display all the juicy details, resolution, frame rate, audio tracks and more. 
Now let's talk presets. Handbrake offers a range of presets tailored for different output formats. If you're editing professionally or aiming for social media, production standard is your friend. It's optimized for quality and compatibility across platforms. Now moving on to the video tab, this is where magic actually happens. You'll find options for video codecs. Remember those? H.264 is a safe bet for compatibility, though you have other choices depending on your needs. Now adjust the quality slider to find your sweet spot. Higher quality means larger file size, lower quality means smaller. Next, the encoder preset. Keep it on fast unless you are prepared to wait for a slow motion encoding marathon. And trust me, we all want things fast these days. Lastly, don't forget about audio. Check the audio tab to ensure that it's set to at least 320 kilobits per second for optimal sound quality. Before you hit the encode button though, save your settings as a preset for future projects. You'll thank me next time. Once you're all set, choose where you want your compressed video to be saved. Hit start and let Handbrake do its thing. And voila, you just compressed your video, keeping it snappy without losing any of that crystal clear quality. Okay, so that was pretty simple, wasn't it? But look, there's so much more that you can do with Handbrake, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. Instead, head over to the description or down to the comment section, check out the pinned comment and go to Diego's blog. If you love this video, there's so much more juicy info in his post. Now, time for some loving. If you found this video helpful or you just like me on your screen, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tips on video production, editing, content creation, software, etc, etc. And actually, since we're talking about video, why don't you check out our last video on VLC Media Player right up here. And if you have any comments or any questions, don't forget to drop us a comment below. I'll be happy to hear from you. Until next time. Bye.